Hey guys, I thought I'd give you an update. Um, I did my last review tw at 12 months, so it's probably around two and a half years now. I've been getting a few questions on electrolysis. Um, it's starting, but only in the places where you would expect it to be, like around your stainless fittings. You can probably see that paint bubble in there. Uh, it's sort of nowhere where it shouldn't be. Uh, like in the floor, around the hole. But the paintwork and everything seems to be holding up. Except for that first bit there that we, that bit of drama with. But it's all holding together. <clears throat> All the rest of the paintwork and everything seems to be holding up good. And again, you can see those few little rust marks there. I'm not sure um, what they do in the factory over there. If, they, if they're building these jigs in the same places where they're building these and they're getting a bit of um, like grinding dust um, or something over these holes that's causing them to to get that bit of rust in them well not actually rust it's just a surface rust like if you grind over paint or aluminium it's it's like little pieces of mild steel um, and then obviously mild steel it'll rust so there's another one of those little dots <sighs> Different floor. Um, there is all well, the paint seems to be good here. There's a little bit of electrolysis around there. But like I said, it's only basically around the fittings where you would expect it to be. So these cracks, they sort of haven't got much, much bigger. I'm just going to let them go and see how long they go before I have to intervene and do something with them. Other thing I want to touch on too is the seat foam. Not the seat foam, the cushion foam. The cushion foam is really hard from the factory. Uh, I actually got some softer stuff and put in there just to soften it up so it'll give you a better night's sleep. So maybe that's another thing that they can uh, sort of rectify is maybe it's just some softer foam. Bubbling there, but there's a stainless screw that holds that windscreen on there. Um, the cracks, there's a, those cracks there haven't got much bigger. There's actually none in that side, so that's good. All the roof seems to be holding up good. Um, the anchor winch is still going good. That's what it is there. That's what come with it. So what they put on over there. It's still done a bit. That chain, the only drums over was that chain sock. It just keeps sliding down the chain all the time. So if anybody's got any remedies for that, they could probably leave it in the comments. Um, this C deck, well it's not C deck, whatever it is, it seems to be holding up. If it was out in the sun full time, I'd say it'd be pretty chalky by now. But it's under cover in here most of the time so the cabin paint it's just a few chips um, but the paint's still looking really good the windscreen is holding up it's starting just to get a few little crazy spots in where they bent it there but that's probably as to be expected the clears are holding up good also the zips, if they put like a little flap over the zips, because if it's a bit nautical or if it's raining, you get a little bit of water through there. But uh, only if it's big sea or if it's really raining. These windows, <coughs> they're looking all right. There's maybe a tiny bit of surface rust coming through there, but they seem to seal. Well, they weren't sealed when I got it, so uh, I just unscrewed them and put some silicon around it and put them back in. So, and I had to do the windscreen bolts as well. 
because it was leaking, a bit of water was coming in there. So that was one of the other things I had to do to it. But it wasn't a big drama. Uh, the deck wash pump that I put in, it's still, it's still going good, hasn't let me down yet. Uh, I did put a bigger fuel tank in it, the front one, so it's under there. I took the 180 litre out and put a 300 in it, just to have a little bit more fuel. So it'd be good to have an option like from the factory, so if the boys want bigger fuel tanks in it to go a bit wider, there's that option instead of just putting the 180s in there. Uh, and also the pickups, I moved the pickups to the back of <clears throat> both tanks because uh, if you're on the plane, because these sit really proud, the nose when you're cruising along, so they're really good in a following sea. Um, but the pickup is at the front of the tank, so when you start and get down to, you know, 30 or 40 litres of fuel left in the tank, um, <clears throat> it won't pick it up. So there's another little issue that they might be able to rectify. Um, the hole <clears throat> handles really well, like it's got that big double chime there as you can see, like these two here, um, makes it really stable at rest, so it sits on top of the water, it doesn't rock, a lot of other boats, um, they get that, you know, if they're in a bit of swell, they get that rock going, this thing sits fairly flat on top of the water. And it's got a 24 degree dead rise, which cuts through the water really well. So you basically got the best of both worlds with these holes. Well, they're an Australian design hole and they were designed on the East Coast by Ben Noble. So they're designed for our conditions over here. You wouldn't necessarily have a boat like this in WA because their swell conditions are a little bit uh, different to ours. Like we get sort of chop over here. Um, you don't sort of need a big V boat over there just because of the conditions, save a little bit on fuel as well. Uh, the motor's, it's uh, around 300 hours it's got on it. It's still around that 1.2 offshore kilometers per litre. And that's the prop 3x16, 17R. So it sort of rose to about 5.7, 5.8. Um, top speed's around 63 k's an hour, I think, or maybe 65. It's somewhere around there. Cruise is around that 4,200, uh, probably around 45 k's an hour, which is sort of about where you want to be. Um, yeah, I haven't had any major dramas or issues. The hull handles really well on the water. Uh, handles all sort of sea conditions really well. See the bit of the paint on this side, it's still fine. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still pretty happy with it. Uh, there's only those few little minor changes, like fuel tanks and, and um, just the cleanup. Um, so yeah, if you want to know anything else, um, just leave it in the comments and I'll see you on the next one.